Okay. This is a quick one. Proverbs 3, 5. 5, 6. 5 and 6. Uh, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. As a new Christian, you'll, you'll hear this a lot. And lean not on your own understanding. In all ways acknowledge Him, meaning acknowledge God, and He shall direct your paths. You never hear that part, but they'll say, you'll go to someone, you'll have a question or whatever, or maybe they're questioning what you believe. You know, I've had friends that are big in churches and all this, and oh, you're, you know, they, and I, I they say, hey, why don't you come to my church? I say, well, I just, I don't, I can tell you already, I'm not going to agree with what they're talking about. And they get kind of put off by that. And I just don't like, I, I've never liked the way the churches are going. You can never really trust them. So people try to get me to the church, say, no, it's really not for me, but thanks anyway. And they say, why not? I say, well, it's, I'm not going to, you know, agree with them. And they'll explain why, a couple of doctors or whatever. And they'll say, well, do not lean on your own understanding. In other words, come and listen to our, our guy. You need to listen to him. We have a really good preacher or pastor or whatever. And he's been at this a long time in seminary to all, blah, 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 all this stuff. And uh, you know, don't try to do this on your own. And that's complete baloney. Uh, just like we've been talking about all this time, it says here, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. What about John 14, 15, 64? What are we, we're, we're walking the teachings of Jesus, obeying the commands, and dwelling in the Holy Spirit because we want to be led by God. Through his Holy Spirit, Spirit is through the Spirit of Jesus, the whole, the whole game. Okay? I don't want to be led by your pastor or your teacher. I don't want to be led by that guy on YouTube or any of this kind of stuff. We're banging away at this, so at some point we will be led by God. Revelation, conviction, and all this. So when you, when you, when someone comes at you, you say, well, you do not lean on your own understanding. What they're saying is that they got it figured out and you don't. You, you're not going to figure it out by yourself. You need to come see what we have over here. Uh-uh. When God says it, that's the way I'm going. See? Led by God. That's what you're after. But don't ever let anybody who's been around it a long time, maybe you're new, and try to uh, leverage that against you that maybe you don't quite know what you're doing. Because if you read in the Bible, John 14, 15, 16, you know, what, you know what the plan is. At least John 14. If you love me, you keep my commandments, and here's what I'm going to do for you. You know what the conditions are. Um... And that really flips them when you bring up John 14, 15. Anyhow, that was uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, we give thanks for today, thanks for you, for Jesus, the Gospels, and for the opportunity of salvation. We pray, we pray continually for uh, Joe Primal's son, Ryan, for his health and wellness, as well as Mr. Holster and the Robert Payne family. We pray that you lead all of those who watch these videos, as well as their families, with your Holy Spirit. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. And we pray for the salvation of all those people as well. We pray that you give us new eyes, new ears, new mind, and a new heart. Eyes for your word. And once again, the reading, you just can't beat reading the Bible. We pray again for patience. Pray continually for the homeless. I'll get more into that later. We pray for the homeless here as well as the homeless anywhere. We pray that you provide our leadership with godly wisdom. And as usual, we pray for, pray for patience. Um, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I'll bring something up too. I think I'm going to change the channel. I think I'm going to. I might have to start a new channel because I've lost access to my channel. Um, it's just, I'm, it's such an old channel and I don't have the uh, original phone number. And with Google, everything's a mess. You cannot break into Google or, you know. And so it's just easier for me. I think I'm just gonna start another channel. I can still have access to this one, but I can't change anything. I can't go, I go to a laptop and I'll say I wanna move something around. I can't do it. It won't, just, it won't send me back to, um, uh, I don't have like the um, I don't know the password something something I I did wrong or mistakenly or whatever, or maybe back then it was Google and I was ticked off at them whatever I gave them bad info, but I don't have enough information. I don't have the um, password they want, and they won't ship it back to my 
email. They want to ship it to my old phone number, which I have not used in two years. That's a dead phone. Dead number. Someone else has it. So I'll probably start another channel. Anyhow, love you. God bless.